Hi, my name is Ryan. Today at Scottsdale RV, we're presenting to you a 2006 Keystone Raptor model 3712 triple slide toy hauler. Uh, we recently took this one on trade. Uh, we're going to start right at the back corner here. You've got an entry door, separate entry door to the garage right here with your triple entry step. Folds up, get out of the way. You've got your triple axle here with alloy wheels. As we move over here, Back of the refrigerator, you've got your outside uh, radio, CD player, two speakers right here. Over here we've got a spray port, you can hook a hose up here and spray your toys down if you want. You've got your 12 gallon gas electric water heater. Above me we've got the patio awning, excellent shape, no rips or tears in that. Large pass through storage right here, goes all the way through to the other side. Right there you've got your jack handles for your rear stabilizer jacks. In this compartment here we've got your two deep cycle batteries right there. This is also your um, uh, slide pump. We go around to the front here, up front. We've got your Onan 5500 watt Marquis Gold gas generator. Right there, once again, you can start this out here or inside the fifth wheel. And this guy just stays up like this. If you want to leave it open, you've got a little bit of storage right beside it. Um, this does have a gooseneck adapter on it right now. We'll be taking that off. We can put it back on if, if someone does want the gooseneck adapter. You've got your power switch, your power, your switch for your power front jacks right here. Contract and extend. This compartment right here, we've got your two LP tanks right here, side by side, large propane tanks. This is the other side. That passenger store once again goes all the way through, lots of storage room. We've got a satellite inlet right here. We've got your cable inlet, city water connection, black tank flush right here, and your outside shower. We walk around, we're gonna walk around all the way to the back almost. Once again, your triple axle, you've got your 50 amp power cord right here, twists off for storage, potable water fill, furnace exhaust, you've got uh, garage ventilation above you right there, fuel fill right here. Back here, you've got your Hose for filling up your, tool, your uh, toys. You got a fuel tank in here. You can I believe it holds 25 gallons. Ladder to get up on the roof if you'd like. This also just pulls right off by removing all the safety pins. You can store it that way. We're gonna move back to the garage now. To open this guy, you just flip this up, and slide the handle over. You grab it all the way down like this. Try to walk it down, don't let it slam on the ground. Right there. As we go into the garage, you've got a screen that comes down right here. If you don't want to have the garage door up. You've got tie down spots throughout the floor. Plenty of storage up here for tools or, or whatever you'd like. A couple security lights in here. Um, you've got your oil rack right here. Got your entry door into the inside of the fifth wheel. Well, that wraps up the outside. Well, welcome to the inside here. Um, we're going to start right here at the control panel. You've got your floodlight switch, a porch light switch, patio light switch, and a ceiling light switch. Uh, right here is your slide out switch, brings your slide out rooms in and out. You've got your level test system right here. This will tell you your black tank level, gray tank level, fresh water level, uh, also your battery level water pump switch right here. You've got fuel gauge for your generator. You've got your generator clock right here and you've got your generator start and stop. You can also start and stop the generator on the generator itself outside. Um, as we come up here, you can't see this yet, but we'll come back to it. You got your thermostat for your AC, your heat, all that. We're gonna go into the kitchen area now. Um, actually just about freeze past up, you got your water heater switch right down here. Turn on and off in a resettable GFI. We're gonna go up, you got the two bar stools. Uh, this flips down if you don't want to utilize the bar stools. This uh, countertop extension also flips down. 
a little easier to get in and out of the kitchen if it's down. Uh, you got a bread basket right over here. You got your dual sink with removable sink cover. Pull out for the faucet. In this particular fifth wheel, you've got a microwave, burner range, and an oven, all in one. You've got your Norcold double door refrigerator right here. You got your freezer up top, your fridge down here. Bunk ladder just lifts off like this. You can put it over here, over here, climb up to the bunk up there. Um, you've also got a spot in the bunk area uh, for another TV. The hookups are right behind this TV if you wanted to. Um, as we walk over here, you've got your LCD TV for the living room, your DVD player. Uh, this guy right here is just a bunch of storage. You've got your booth dinette, so this pulls off, lays down here, and you can sleep right here. You've also got sleeping in the couch right here. This guy is a full hide -a bed so it comes out here, so you've got tons of sleeping in here. Uh, we're going to walk up to the front here, up to the master bedroom. You've got a sink right here. You've also got a privacy curtain, pulls across all the way here. Um, glass shower enclosure with the skylight. You got another LCD TV up top here for the bedroom. Lots of drawer space here for your clothes and whatnot. Large closet space in this fifth wheel. Other side here too. I'm going to walk right past you here. Private toilet area right there. You've also got privacy door right here. To separate the living area from the bath area. Well that does it for the inside.